redeem the time because the days are evil. And I begin to explain to us, I begin to make us to understand that when the Bible said, redeem me the time for the days are evil, it was not actually talking about, or it was not saying that there is evil that works in daytime. Amen. Because many people believe that, that it is because of the evil in the daytime. That is what the Bible was talking about. No. Amen. It was telling us, redeem, redeem. If you understand the meaning, the word redeem, it means to, 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 to take out, amen, to bring out up. When you say redeem, when the Christian say is redeemed, in other words, from the past life that he was living for, he has been brought into another life. Amen. He has redeemed. So, the word of God says, redeem the time because the days are evil. In other words, there are many people, many believers, many Christians, many children of God. Today, they are, they, are, they are spending their time. They are, they are making uh, 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 use of their time wrongly and is not blessing them. Hallelujah. Praise God. Do you know as powerful as prayer is? As powerful prayer is, prayer still has time. Amen. You need time to pray, but you can't just make prayer all day. Amen. You can't just pray all day. Fasting is very empowered to the children of God, to the body of Christ. But you cannot just fast throughout the year. Amen. When you do that, you may be you you will might be increasing spiritually, but there are some certain things physically that you ought to have done because you took all the time to fast or to pray, you cannot meet up with those things. Amen. And by so doing, there will be loopholes, there will be lapses. So, in other words, God in each day, in each week, in each month, and in each year, there is a level, there is a number, there is an adequate time God wants us to spend, to do, to use. For an individual things. Hallelujah. Praise God. Do you know? Let me shock you. The Bible said, In six days did God create the heaven and earth. Amen. In six days did God create the heaven and the earth. Do you think it will not take God one day to create the heaven and earth as powerful as it is? Yes, God can do that. Amen. God can do that. But however, God said, You six days to create the universe. Six days. Why did the Bible make us understand that it was six days that God used to create the universe? It is for us to understand the important, the important of time. Amen. The importance of time. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 8, the Bible says, He make all things beautiful in His time. He make all things beautiful in His days. So in other words, when you are talking about time, there is a purpose for time. There is a purpose. There is need for you to maximize your time. Hallelujah. Praise God. Time will not permit me because we have been on this subject for at least three weeks now. And today, by the grace of God, we'll be cramming it up. Amen. Praise God. Last week, we look at the purpose of time. The purpose of time. And we'll, be, we'll discover how to, take, how to take out something in time. Because if you did not do that thing at the right time, time will come, you might not do it again. I explained last week. I said, for example... When you, there, are, there are strength in a youth. As a youth, there is some level of strength. There are many things you can do when you are still youth. Why? Because there is strength in you. But when you now get old, there is no that strength to do that in anymore. Amen. You don't have that time. You don't have that strength to do that. In other words, you have, you have exceed the time you used to do that in. Or the time you're supposed to have used to do that in. For example... It's good to get married in time, and it's good to get to to have children at uh, at early stage. Even I make it clear to us that last week that even our father Abraham, a time came that Abraham could not play with his son very well because of his eight and uh, old age. He could not play with Isaac the way father of nowadays play with their children. Amen. Because of the strength is there, you will see some parents. In, uh, uh, alongside playing with their children, they, can, they might put their, sh their child at their back and be playing. Some can lift them up, some can throw them around, some can run with their children. But when you are not old, you will not find out that you can't do so some of these things anymore because you have exceed the time you should have used to do these things. Amen. Praise God. I pray that God grant you wisdom and understanding of this teaching. So, there are certain things we need to have, to, we need to do at the early time of our stage. Because the Bible said, 
The strength of a man lies in his youth age. The strength of a man lies in his youth age. If you don't use that time adequately at the right time, time can become a nightmare. Praise God. And last week at the same time, we talked about time limitation. Time limitation. Time limitation. Because if you don't use your time well, if you didn't make use of your time, you will find that what you're supposed to have done in the morning, it is in the evening, you will be doing it. And it will not be, please, it will not be pleasant to you. Amen. Praise God. It will not be pleasant to you because why? You have left and left some energy you have, you're have you supposed to have used to do that in amen. Praise God. And we read the book of Job chapter 14 verse 5 to 7. seven. It makes us understand that God should teach us how to number our days. That God should teach us how to number our days. A man who has number his days or a woman who has number her days, these are the people who, who make use of their time adequately. Amen. Who makes use of their time adequately? Remember last week, if you were with us, I speak concerning making use of time physically and making use of time spiritually. Amen. Even I emphasize more in the in the aspect of the in the realm of the spirit more than the physical, because I was make, making us to understand that the realm of the spirit contr- uh, 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 is what control the physical. So the, the life we are living is being controlled in the realm of the spirit. And I make us understand that whatsoever you have conquered in the realm of the spirit, you can easily find it. You can easily get it. Amen. Physically. Amen. Praise God. When God was creating the universe, it was not physically. It was in the realm of the spirit. But having true, having done all those things in the realm of the spirit, it will begin to see the manifestation in physical. Amen. Now physically, you cannot see this. Even now in the physically, do you know there are so many people that said, God does not exist. When you are trying to tell them it is God that created the universe, that created the earth, they will say no. Amen. That it is the scientists, it is the disco- discovery that make all these things to come into uh, uh, place. But that is not what our Bible to- uh, tells us. God makes us to know that even in the beginning, everywhere we are dark. That is Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to verse 3. Explaining how God created the universe. He said everywhere was dark. There were water everywhere. Until God begin to speak and the Spirit of God begin to move and God begin to cut things that be not into existence. Amen. And before you know, God begin to see them and, and he places him. Amen. So you must, uh, at the same time, uh, 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 invest in the realm of the Spirit. How do I mean? You need time to pray as a Christian, to meditate, to study. Hallelujah. So because what? What it is, what your mind can carry that you can eventually bring into reality. Amen. And because when you, are the, when you are a man of the spirit, in your dreams, there are certain level that God will take you to. In other words, there are certain things God will be showing you. This is your future. This is your tomorrow. But it can't just happen except God, first of all, take you there in the realm of the spirit. That is the importance of dream. That is the importance of vision. Amen. It is what you can see in the realm of the spirit that eventually will come to you physically. Was any territory you have conquered the realm of the spirit, physically, you must always be there. Why? Because you have seen it and you will know how to work with it. Praise God. You will know how to work with it. So the, the realm of the spirit is what supersedes the, realm, the physical realm. So we need to invest more in the realm of the spirit so that you, you will not just be pursuing uh, physical things where there are things you need to have accomplished to have uh, 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 work out in the realm of the spirit and you'll be able to see the reality in the, in, in the physical realm. Hallelujah. Praise God. So today I will be speaking on maximizing your days. Maximizing your days. Maximizing your days. When we say maximizing your days, that is someone who have lived, who have stretched out his life. In his time, because last time, when the beginning of this uh, message, I believe to make us understand that you, you must know that your time, the time we are talking about now, is what is called your life. Amen. The time is your life. When I, I, I begin to make us understand that when you are working in a fabric or in, in, in an office, in a company, it is your life that the, 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 the company order are, are taking from you. Amen. They are spending your years. And I make us to understand that your sweat is what comes from your blood. And your blood is your life. Amen. 
When, when you drown a blood of an animal out of his body, it becomes a dead animal. So also it is to a human being. When the blood is off, that, that human being will become a dead man or a dead woman because, because life is lived with blood. Amen. So when you are walking, there's nobody that walk without sweating. Are you getting it now? Are you seeing it now? So there's nobody that walk without sweating. So when you are sweating, in other words, life, your life is separate from you. Your life is separate from you. Have you not shocked you? The Bible said when Jesus was praying in the in the feet of Gasemele, uh, the Bible said the, the sweat that was dropping from his body was like a, a, a thick blood. Amen. It was what? Like a thick blood. In other words, all that Jesus should have lived here on earth to make sure it come to pass. But in the place of prayer, in maximizing his time, he sweat it out. Amen. And his, his, his sweat becomes as blood. Amen. So it was not as thick as blood that was dropping out from his body. We all know that Jesus lived the age of 33 and a half. In other words, 33 years old. But what he did when he was uh, uh, when he was alive, today mercy speak of it. His glory is his sin. Why? Because he maximizes his time. Praise God. He maximizes his time. So we all, at the same time, we need, as the children of God, as the children of life, we need to also maximize our time so that the time will not come, that our time will become a nightmare. And I, I explained to us, what is a nightmare? A life that is not well spent when you are not in your old age, it will become a regret. It becomes a regret. That is when people begin to bite their hand. That's when people begin to say, I wish I know. That is when people begin to make statements. Oh, I, sh I, sh I, sh I should have I should have done this. I should have known. Sh so, but you can't do it anymore. You can't bring it to reality anymore. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, these are things we need to, uh, to work with at our early stage. So that it will be a blessing to us. Amen. Praise God. Let me show you a description in the, in the book of Psalm chapter 90. Verse 10. Look at what David says. He said the days of our years are three scores, years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four scores years, yet it is the strength labored and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we fly away. Here is explaining how time flies. Ah yes, you will see a new bomb, a new bomb baby. Somebody you attend is baby dedication. Somebody you attend is name ceremony. Few years ago, the time you will not come across that child or come the parents along with the child. If there's not, you will be asked. You will be you will be forced to ask. Hey, is this so person? Is this? Ah, he's so big. She's so big. Amen. Praise God. So in other words, you are trying to see how time flies. So when you don't maximize that times, it can flies away. That is what he was saying here. He said because a time is come that time will be cut off and it will. He will fly away. Amen. If you jump to verse 12, look at what it says. It says, So teach us to number our days. Teach us to number our days that we may reply our heart unto wisdom. Teach us how to number our days that we might apply our heart unto wisdom. Amen. Praise God. So it is something that we need to do to maximize our time. In other words, not to live time. Not to live. You are living in time and there are many things you need to have done and you did do it. Amen. In other words, that time, that years you live was a wasted uh, 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 years. Was a wasted time. Praise the Lord. I explained to Ross that there are people that there are the, that they live in some country and there's nothing they could do in the area of finance. The, the country is not helping them. They are not doing something meaningful for themselves. And the time will come, they will not change. You will see these people, they will not change uh, 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 their place of, uh, of, of living. They will change either country or a uh, state. And their place, they not find themselves. There they will find job and they will, be, they will be good doing everything. And you will not see that person, that man, that woman, they will not be saying, Oh, how wish I have known. How wish I have known. How wish I have known. I should have come. I should have been in this place. Should have been. In other words, they are trying to tell you, Oh, they have lost their years. They have lost their time. Praise God. So, people of God, take note. Don't play with your time. 
Don't play with your age. Amen. Don't play with your time. Don't play with your age. Always live your life in full. Always live your life in full so that it will become a blessing to you. Amen. Jesus live his time in full. And we are seeing his manifestation today. So we also at the same time must live our life in full so that it will be a blessing to us and a blessing to those that is yet to come. Praise God. In Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 6. Look at what the word of God says. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 6. It says because to every purpose there is time. Are you seeing it now? Amen. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 6. It says because to every purpose there is time and judgment. Therefore, the merits of men is great upon him. In every time, in every purpose, there is always a time. So if you didn't work out your work, if you didn't do, if you, if, if you didn't bring all your work to manifestation, if you didn't make it to happen, a time will come, you can't do it anymore. That's what the scripture is explaining. Amen. That's what is the scripture. Is explained to us. He said, because to every purpose, there is a what? A time. To every purpose, there is a time. And he said that in the same Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. He said, to every thing on earth, there is time and a season. There is a time and a season to make sure that all those things is being done at the right time. To make sure that all those things is being done at the right time. So how do I spend my time? Time spending, talking about time spending, these are some of the things we need to know so that you can maximize your time very well. Number one, time is a currency of life. Praise God. Time is a what? Is a currency of life. When you work in, a, in an office and at the end of the day or at the end of the month, they pay you. So you must understand that they are paying you for your life or your time or your years that they take from you. Praise God. That is what they are paying you for. That is what they are paying you for. They have taken part of you. They are taking part of your life for you to walk on that day, for you to sweat on that day. So they have taken part of you. Praise the Lord. So time is a currency. Time is a currency of life. Number two, every human is given the same time. Every human is given the same amount each day. 24 hours is what is in a day. So how you use this, how you spend it is what matters. Number three, time is like all currency must be spent. Time, like all currency, must be spent. Amen. So when you are spending, when, when you are when you are making use of your time, where it's like you are spending your currency, you are spending the money adequately. You are spending it adequately. Amen. Praise God. So number four, time is used to buy time. Are you seeing it now? Time is used to do what? To buy time. Time is used to buy life. Sorry. Time is used to buy life. Talking of life, you are talking of time. Talking of time, you are talking of life. Amen. Praise the Lord. So time is used to do what? To buy life. Number five, you, you become whatever you spend. You become whatever you spend your time buying. You become, in other words, you lose like whatever you spend your time buying. Amen. So anything you are spending your time for, that is what you have eventually becomes. Hallelujah. Praise God. For, for, for the, for the uh, 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 soccer, for the people that play soccer, you see a, fo a, fo a, a, a footballista always, is always with his football. Always, she's always with her football. She's playing ball. She, she's practicing. In that, way, that is what she's buying into. And before you know, that person, that man, that woman will become a star in, 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 in so her feed. Amen. They become a star in the affair. Why? Because they are spending their time, they are spending their years in that particular area, in that particular field. Amen. So abuse or wasting time. You can abuse your time. You can waste your time. There are people that is wasting their time today. There are people that is abusing their time today. Amen. Just like money. Do you know there are some people that have money, but they make they, they spend their money recklessly. Amen. They spend their money recklessly and at the end, there's nothing to account for it. They don't have anything with them anymore. Why? Because they make use wrongly of that money. Hallelujah. Praise God. May God give you wisdom to spend your money wisely. So time can be stolen. Time can be stolen. 
Any man does not use his time where, does not spend a time where, that time, that years you live, is like something that is stolen. That's what the Bible said in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 25. It said, I will recover all the years that the locusts and the cap, uh, uh, palmer worm has eaten. I will, I will recover them for you. In other words, God was trying to tell you that I will recover all your lost glory. There are people, they have lived their year 50 years. There's nothing good they can say, this is what I have lived for. Amen. In the area of marital st- in the area of uh, marriage, no. Childbearing, no. Finances, no. Business, in all way, in the, all, the, all that they, they know that they can say, they can achieve, is that they see themselves in another day. They see themselves in the, another breaking of the day. They see themselves in another new month. Happy new month. Happy new year. They celebrate each season. But within them, there's nothing that is people are coming to celebrate around them. Amen. So God is saying these are abuse of time. These are abuse of time. These are stolen time. Hallelujah. So time at the same time can be lost. A time that is not used where is a lost time. A time that is not used where is a what is a lost time. Praise the Lord. Time that is not used where is a lost time. Time is more important than money. People of God, take note of this. Time is what is more important than money. Time, your time is more important than your what your money. Do you know there are some offices you will go? They will tell you they will be paying you 80 euro per hour. And there are some offices you will go when you are working for them. They will still tell you they'll be paying you 15 euro per hour and so on, so, so on and so forth. Amen. So in other words. When you are not working in the right place you're supposed to be working, you are losing that time, you are wasting that time, you are abusing that time. That is, these are the things that make time to be more important than money. That make time to be more important than what? Than money. So money is not important than time, but time is rather important than money. Praise God. Hallelujah. So time can be appreciable. Time can be appreciable. A man that lives his time where, for example, King David in the Bible, when the Bible said when he was old and he looks at his houses, he looked at his houses, he looked at his, 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 his kingdom, he looked at his people, he said it pleased him well. In other words, this was a man that said that he fulfilled all his purpose while he's still living. Hallelujah, praise God. So he appreciate the time that, oh, thank you. I use this time where, thank God that this time was maximized. Oh, thank God that this time was used perfectly. Amen. Praise the Lord. So these are some of the things we need to take into consideration. That time can be appreciable. When you make use of your time where, there must be something you will celebrate yourself for. There will be something others will celebrate you for. These are time where spent. These are time where used. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Solomon, the Bible said that other kings travel. Other kings come from their, 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 their continent, from their, from their far country to pay homage to Solomon, to worship him as king, to bow before him. Amen. And when Solomon is seeing all these things, he knew that the wisdom of God upon him is used, is spent wisely. Praise God. I pray that God Give us the same wisdom so that we we'll know how to make use of our time. Amen. So time can be appreciable and time can be disvalued. Time can be disvalued. There are people that disvalue time. They just go out earning their money and come back at any time. No money is coming with it. No, 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 I will I put it now. There's nothing they learn with their time. That's why I hate People that will say, let me let me use this thing to while away time. Let me just busy busy doing this thing to while away time. Why must you while away your time? Why did you convert that time to become something for you? Amen. Why did you use that time to study, to learn more about that thing? To learn more of something. So don't play away your time. There are people that is good in game. They play with game. Let me always while away time. As you are whiling away time, your years is what is going. Are you seeing it now? Your age is aging. It's going. 
So you convert that time that you think that since it is like you are less busy, try to make sure that something good see comes out of it. Try to make sure you you enhance your your spiritual life. Make sure you you try to to enhance your study. Amen. Make sure you do something at that part at that at that given time. Let it not just be a time that that is wasted. Amen. There are people, many that disvalue time, they disvalue it. Just like children. Amen. Just like children. Do you know when you are when you are forcing a child to go to school, forcing that child, go to school, go and study. They don't understand why you are doing that. They don't know the reason you are you are persuading them to do that. But do you know when they come to the age of accountability, when they now age job, they will know the reason. Why their parents were persuading them to go for study? Why their parents were persuading them to go to learn? Amen. So that their time will not be disvalued. Their time will not be misused. At the same time, number seven, quickly, time can be also be revalued. Be revalued. You can also revalue time. How do I mean? There are people... I don't know that. Oh, you waste this. You waste this uh, time. You waste this year. Now that you not, you are not fit to understand that this thing. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Then you can run with it. Amen. You can run with it. You can stress. You can stress yourself out to make sure that that year, those time that you waste, is being revalued again. May God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, time can be also be revalued. What are the victims of time? What are the victims? There are people that is a victims of time. Time take, time take, uh, 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 how will I put it now? No, no, wait. Time take adve uh, 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 adventures of them. They don't know what is happening, but time is running out. Time is going. Time is counting, just like a wristwatch, just like a clock. You can't, you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't bring it back. You can't post it to say, wait for me, I'm coming. No. Amen. But to you, you think mm, nothing is going home. Nothing is, uh, nothing is happening. But at the same time, time is, is running out. Time is running out. Last two weeks, I believe, and I make us understand that when, when people are living and they are now old, and they now see many loopholes of the area they need to have covered. In many areas, they need to have bring things into existence. It is there they will understand that these are some of the things they should have done at their early stage. These are some of the things they should have done early in the morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, people of God, we must always, always buy to time. Make use of our time physically and spiritually. Physically and spiritually. You must understand that you can never stop time. Not at all. Nobody have the ability, nobody have the capacity to stop time and say, wait for me. It is only God that can do that. Amen. It is only God that have the ability, the capacity to add to someone's age, to someone's years. It's only, you can do that. You can do that. Last week, I, I emphasized more on this. I said, look, if God opened our eyes, to make us to see that brother, sister, you have 15 years more to live. You have 20 years more to live. 15 years. It is there you will know the loopholes. It is there we will now understand. Oh, the, you, it is there you must somebody fasting to make sure he meet up. She will be spending up, make sure she meet up. Why? Because she now understand that a social time like this, she will not be she will be no more. A social time like this, she uh, he will be, be no more. So they are not trying. To meet up with time. Hallelujah. Praise God. So you can never stop time. At the same time, but we can control time. So that time will not be a loss to us. The only thing we have ability to do is to control. To control. That's the idea of maximizing. We are talking about maximizing the time. You control it, you maximize it. And make us... To know that, listen, if a day break or in a week you don't have your own budget or how you are going to spend your day, how you are going to spend your time, where you will go, what you will do, how you will go about your day. I said people will come and buy your day. They will come and buy your time and they will spend it and nothing will be given to you. I make it to our, I bring it to our understanding. I said let me explain to you so that you understand what I'm saying. I said there are people 
It is there on a day they will, they will call you. Please, where are you? You say, I'm at home. They will say, okay, I'm coming. I want you to, to uh, accomplish me to a place like this. I want you to follow me to a place like this. I want you to follow me. Let's do this thing. They are buying your whole time into their time. They are collecting your ears from you and adding it to their own without your knowledge, without your knowing. Praise God. Are you, are you seeing it? Are you understanding me? So we must know this. It has, just today, the beginning of a new week, what do you need to do? Monday, this is what I will do. Tuesday, this is what I will do. Wednesday, you program yourself. Amen. You, pro, you, 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 you make a schedule of your week. Hallelujah. It is there some who say, enter Cal, follow me, come and show me this place. Amen. That's the area of services. And at the end, there's nothing for it. There's nothing that will be added, added to your years. There will be nothing that will be added to your time. That is why people that know the value of time, haven't take your time, haven't spend your time, they must give you appreciation. They must give you a token for us appreciation. They must give you a token and say, please take this. Please take this because you know why they know that they have taken some hours, they have minus some hours from your years, whether you knowing it or not, they have taken you, they have taken your time from you because your time is what become your money, and your money is what speak of your life. Hallelujah! Praise God. So, at the same time, we must know that we cannot resist time. Nobody can resist time. Talking about resistance is when your time is up. When your time is finished, you cannot resist it and say no. Amen. The day that death comes, nobody has the ability, the capacity to say no, I will not die now. Nobody can stop that. No. Amen. The power is not given to us. Amen. Even being a child of God, that ability is not in us to say no, I must not die now. When your time complete, when it run and complete, the number of days God wanted to spend here on earth, when the time comes, you cannot say no. You cannot say no. Except in the infinite mercies of God, He can decide to add to it. Amen. Praise the Lord. But it is good that at any given time that God gives to us here on earth as we are still living, as we, the breath is still out of our nose, we need to maximize it. Amen. We need to do what mathematics so that when the time comes, you will look at all that we have acquired, all that we have done for our fellow brothers, our sister, our relative, our country, our continent, and to God as well. So you will smile. Smile will come out. A time comes in the life of Paul. Paul begins to uh, uh, contemplate. Should I go home now or should I stay? Should I, should, should I go and stay with God now or should I? He was contemplating. He, he, and he make a statement. He said, "For me to live is Christ. For for me to go is gain. In other words, if I leave you now to go and meet God, I have finished all that I hope to have done here on earth. It will, death is not a gain to me. But when I live among you, it's just for you to still know, to see, to see, uh, 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 for me to see, uh, 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 be an area, a channel to increase, to bless you, to open your eyes to spiritual knowledge." Hallelujah. For me to live is Christ. For me to die is gain. It's a man that, that have maximized his time that can speak like that. It is a man that have complete all his, his assignment, all our assignment that can speak like that. And Jesus did the same thing. When he was, he was in the cross, the Bible said, and he said, it is finished. In other words, all that my father has sent me to come on earth to do, I have finished the work. It is finished. For me, for me to go now is not a regret. Amen. All is finished. The suffering it came, I came for to stop, I have finished it. I have finished it. To wrestle with center the devil in the pit of it, I have done that. The key, the master key of death that was with him, I have collected it. Amen. It does not have right anymore to cast people into the bottomless pit. It is only God I have that, that ability, that, 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 that uh, 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 power. So we also, let us figure ourselves in that area that a day will break or, a, or at any given uh, moment, you will sit down and begin to reason. In this area, have I conquered? In this area, have I arrived? In this, area, in this side, have, have I done what God is expected of me? Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Have I done all that is expected of me? It is there when you find that you have done all, you will not put your hand in your joy and begin to smile. Amen. You begin to smile. You are smiling, people don't understand. That is a man who has conquered. That is a man who has arrived. They live life in fullness. And make us understand that it is not how old you are that matters. It is how you maximize your time that matters. Do you know there are, in a, especially in Africa continent, there are old people in their hundreds, in their 80s, they back down to 20 years old, to 30 years old boy, just for it, to him a daily living. Amen. They will say, sir, ma, for, 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 for young children. Hallelujah. Why? Because those children, you see them that they, they are living their life in fullness. And why they that is old, they could not do what the little boy or what the little girl is doing. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, let me help you out to say this. If you do not understand, it is only the people that live that, that is spiritual that will understand this station better. If you are not spiritual, you will not understand what times really is. This was the same thing that affects Esau. Esau does not understand the power of spirituality. Esau does not understand the power of time. That is why his younger brother can easily make a request of his of, of his best right and his sell it out. Amen. Give me your best right and I will give you food. Give me your best right and I will give you food. And he said, what is a best right to me? Take the best right and give me the food. But the man that understand the principle the power, the realm of spirituality, he took his position in the realm of the spirit, not physical. He took it. Amen. So when you understand, when you are the man of the spirit, you will understand what time really is. Amen. It is there you will not understand it by and by. That time is very precious. Time is very valuable. Hallelujah. Praise God. You cannot compromise with time. You can never compromise with your time. Don't compromise with your time. Work it out. Amen. Don't compromise your time. You can't use your money to buy time. There's never a way you can use your money to buy time. Because your time is more superior than the money. Hallelujah. Praise God. You cannot. A time will come when it, when it becomes a matter of life and death. Have you, okay, for me to show you, this thing at the same time is applicable to as many. For example, they, they will know that a man is sick in the hospital bed and the man need kidney. They will not go and sell their kidney. Do you know what they are, they are doing? They're shutting their own ears. They're shutting their time. They sell their age. They sell their years for that person. I don't know that time is more meaningful, is more powerful than the money. Praise God. They don't know. So it takes understanding for you to understand what time really is. What time really is. Hallelujah. You can't buy time. You can never buy time. You can't slow time down. And you can never speed up with time. You can never speed time up. You want to fast all time. Amen. You want to fast. No. You can never. You can't speed up time. I am 30 now. Next year, let me be 50. You can't do that. Amen. You can't speed time up. I am a young boy now. Let me grow into adult. No, you can't do that. The ability is not in you. Hallelujah. Praise God. You can't do that. You can't speed it up. You live to live it on a daily basis. On a yearly basis. Then you become because why life is a time, is a process of time. Yes, is a process of time. You are processing it. You are processing it. A young baby, it is growing up. A time will come, it will become a young boy. A time is still coming, become a man. A time is coming, become a old man. So we must try all that we need to do to make sure we maximize our time so that our time will not become a nightmare to us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you must understand that until death, 
Until death, you are stuck in time. Or you are a victim of time. Until death, you are stuck in time. Or victims of time. Hallelujah. Praise God. So these are things we must work with. We must run with. Hallelujah. And as we are doing it, we must at the same time also make sure that our children, our husband, our wives, those in under our custody will move them as well. So that they don't play away with their time. They don't, they don't make use, uh, uh, they don't use their time wrongly. Hallelujah. Praise God. The reason most times you see many children in the uh, uh, African country are blaming their parents is because their father, their mother did not grow up. They did not grow them up. How to use time. How to work with time. How to run with time. Amen. Many African parents, because they don't know the value of education, when the child said they are not going to school, they said, so to yourself, it's okay. I've lived my own. I've lived my own life. If you, if you want, if you like, you can you can go ahead. Amen. But those that understand the value of education, they will not take it lightly for their children when they are messing around, when they are messing up, because they know that their time for schooling will bring them food tomorrow. Their time they are used to study now it will make them to be recognized by others tomorrow. Amen. Hallelujah. So, people of God, this is what God expects from us to always work our time, to always live our time, to always maximize our time so that our time will not become evil. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. And it says as well, it said, sufficient time is the evil thereof. When you think you have more time, when you think there is time and you are sufficient, if care is not taken, it will become a problem. It will become a, a, a prayer that is not answered. Hallelujah. Praise God. I pray that God bless his word in our heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, I welcome you to Easter Sunday. God bless you. Because God has risen, you also, in every area you have found yourself, you will rise to the fullness in the name of Jesus Christ. In your academy, you will rise to the fullness. In your business, you will rise to their fullness. In the name of Jesus Christ. All that God could not do, all that Jesus could not do when he was on earth, he says it is finished. In other words, he go before time to complete it. He did not live long, but he moved ahead to make sure all that he needed to do at that specific time was finished. So I pray for you. You will live your life in fullness in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not leave things behind that you could not accomplish, that you could not finish. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you. God keep you. Wherever you are, I pray that this season of Easter will bring you a good memorial in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the blood of Jesus that was sprinkled on the cross of Calvary will wash away all your problems, all your difficulties in the name of Jesus Christ. That what you could not do because God has risen, you will see yourself rising and begin to do all those things in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not die before your time. Premature death will not be your portion. Those around you will not die before your eyes. You will not bury your children in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Until we meet the same time next week. Sorry that I have exceeded my time. God bless you. For those of us that still stay with me to this time, it is well with you. It is well with your soul. It is well with your body. God bless you. See you the same time next week. Amen.